All right, turning to weather now, it has been a cold weekend and you think, well, if it's going to be cold, it might as well snow. Well, not here. We're just seeing a cold rain continuing. And so if you're going to be up early in the morning, just prepare for some wet roadways as we see some light showers still moving across southeast Louisiana. Could be moderate rainfall at times, but for the most part, just some nuisance rainfall going to continue tonight as it is cold and breezy. All the snow up toward the north. You hear the term FOMO, fear of missing out. I'm going to call it snowmo because we're not seeing any snow here, but we've seen lots of pictures of some pretty conditions in parts of Texas and into Louisiana. As we look off toward the west, this is the last of the moisture. It's going to be coming through, so notice moving toward the northeast. So we are going to see some rainfall potential through the early morning hours on Monday. As you see our rainfall totals, pretty light a 10th from Homa down toward Galliano and lighter totals up toward the north. As we look at your forecast through the overnight hours, again, some off and on scattered showers, trying to pick up on some more moderate rainfall as we go into about three, four o'clock in the morning. But again, just kind of off and on showers as we get toward morning commute time, six o'clock, still seeing some scattered showers around. It moves out by nine and then we're going to dry out from there, but it's going to stay cloudy, cold, and breezy throughout the rest of the day and for much of the week as well. So as we look at the wider view, you see all the snow teasing us just toward the north. That'll continue to move out along with that rainfall. And then we'll gradually see those clouds clearing out as we get into Tuesday, where we'll see a little bit more sunshine as temperatures will start to warm up. So heads up for you in your commuter forecast 6 a.m. Still some light to moderate showers around. We'll have wet roadways through the morning. Wind chill values in the 20s and 30s as you're heading out the door. So you'll definitely want the jackets and then drying out once we get to 8 to 9 o'clock with temperatures still into the low 40s. Very breezy tonight. Winds 10 to 24 miles per hour over toward the lakefront. And so that makes it feel colder outside. And that will be the case area wide as we get into those early morning hours, feeling like the 20s and 30s. And it's going to feel like the 30s all day tomorrow. So again, it's going to be just a breezy, chilly day. And we see those uh, cold temperatures once again going into Tuesday morning where we could see a light freeze again on the North Shore. Right now, though, 36 at Hammond, 39 Bogalusa and then 40s for the South Shore. That's why we're seeing the rainfall tonight. Not cold enough air to turn any of, the, any of that rain into snow. And it feels like temperatures right now with the wind. It feels like it's freezing in Hammond, 28 degrees. Feels like 32 at Biloxi, 35 down toward Galliano. Uh, but again, it was pretty cold today. High of 45, the average is 62. So running well below uh, the average for this time of year. As you see those highs in the low to the mid 40s all across our area. So tonight that scattered rainfall continues. Temperatures in the 30s to low 40s with breezy winds out of the northeast 10 to 15 miles per hour. Wind chill going to be a factor throughout the day with some cloud cover hanging out with us for the start of the week. We're working a little bit more sunshine for you as we head through the week. You see those freezing temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday morning on the North Shore, and then we'll work in some mid 60s as we go toward the end of the week.